Hi everybody, Adam W. Warner here. In this video I'm going to show you the Convert Plug plugin for WordPress to uh, create email subscription forms, pop-ups, and uh, info bars, or otherwise known as notification bars. Uh, when you install and activate the plugin, you'll see the welcome screen here. There are a couple of tabs here, the About tab, uh, the Modules tab, which we can turn uh, on and off the modal pop-ups, which are the email subscription form pop-ups, or the info bars, but I want both of those active. So what I'm going to do here first, you'll see the menu over here, Dashboard, Modal Pop-ups, uh, Info Bars, bars, resources, and the submenu here connects Google Fonts and Icon Manager. I want to talk first about the connects item. Uh, this is where you're going to connect your email marketing service. So if I create a new campaign, I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it MailChimp um, Newsletter, and I'm going to connect to a third-party service. I'm not going to go through the whole process here, but if I choose MailChimp and hit Next, you'll see that uh, it's, I'm prompted to enter my MailChimp API key. After I do that, I'll be able to choose what list in MailChimp that I want this campaign uh, to go to. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump out of here and jump right into the pop-ups to show you how that's done. You can see here that you also have some analytics and import modals uh, options. So I'm going to go ahead and just create one and show you what that looks like. So you have a search bar up here, so you can search for a pop-up uh, theme by name. You can also filter by just their um, functions, exit intent ones, uh, opt-ins, offers, updates, and videos. So I'm just going to scroll through here and show you a few of what you get here. Okay, so if you hover over each one, you have a couple of options. You can use this or you can see a live preview. So this is the blank style. Well, let's show you this direct download. If I hit live preview, it shows you exactly what it looks like when you're done. So let's go ahead and well, let's do this email subscription. So I click use this and then I'm brought to the modal pop-up editor. And it shows you a nice preview here. You can edit right in line. So let's say subscribe to my newsletter. You can change the heading, the subheading. You see uh, if you hover over anything there you can change stuff and you've got a nice little editing bar up here for formatting your text any way you want pretty handy but what I want to show you is over here so this is very reminiscent of the theme customizer so you'll probably be familiar with this layout uh, you've got three sections here design behavior and submission so if I want to change my design I can change the name here so I know what it is I can change the background color Let's just do a very bright and ugly color here. I can change the overlay color, the background image I can add if I want to, and then I can change the call to action options. So I can enable the name field or just the email field. So if I enabled the name field, you'll see you get another field here. So it's and you can change the placeholder text, the text color, the font, background color, all kinds of options here. I'm not going to go through each one because I really want to make this video short to the point. Uh, the close link, you can make an image or text or no close link. You can do the position. The model, uh, modal app uh, animation, you can choose from different animation effects and you get a nice preview when you choose a new one. So there's a ton of options there, and the same with exit animation. And you have some advanced design options. You can do custom widths. You can do full screen, which uh, you've seen that come over in a lot of sites. I'm, I'm sure it's getting more popular. So what I'm going to do now is just go over to the Behavior tab and show you that. This is where the magic really starts to happen. Once you get done with the design, and you really don't need to do much because there's a lot of great designs built in, uh, you get to this section and you make sure, I always want to make sure that I don't bother my visitors, but I still want to make sure that I get my opt-in offer in front of them. So on Launch Control you have some different trigger options. So you can choose to uh, throw your modal up uh, before the user leaves or also known as exit intent. You can show it after a few seconds, you can choose the seconds, or after a user scrolls, when someone is inactive, or you can launch it with some CS custom CSS, but I won't go into that. 
uh, repeat control or repetition controls. This is very handy for not showing the same thing to the same person a bunch of times, especially after they've already opted in. It uses cookies, uh, so it's a nice way to make sure that people aren't bothered with the same thing. Now this is a really cool option here where you can target pages. When I first installed this plugin, I was expecting to have to do this per page, but this is a really, really slick way to choose your pages that you want your opt-ins uh, to be on. So if you don't choose the complete site, I can select to have this only on certain pages, or multiple pages, or posts, or any post type, or categories. So if I want to choose that one, and that one, that will only show on those pages. I can also select uh, taxonomies. I can show them on tags or different post formats. And I can also target visitors. So I do run a membership site, so I don't really want my members to be bothered with email opt-ins because once they become a member, they're already on my email list. So I can simply choose to not show to logged in users. And the last option in the uh, this section is the modal status, whether it's uh, enabled on the site or not. Okay, so you can pause these. The next section here is the submission. So you can collect leads using uh, the form, a custom form first if you want to, or you can collect it using the modal form that you've displayed. You can uh, submit after a successful submission, you can display a message, and you can write that message down here, or you can redirect the user to any URL that you want. So this is it just gives you complete control. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Setting saved. And now I'm going to hit the red X to jump out of here. Keep that paused. I'm going to show you the info bars. So if you click on info bar in the menu here, create a new info bar, you'll see you have some options here. This is a blank one, this is one with an image, and this is one for an email opt-in. So let's go ahead and just choose this blank one here. Click use this. And again, you get a really nice preview as you're editing. So it's a it's a live editor, just like the theme customizer. So you've got the nice toolbar here for formatting your text. You can see you can highlight up here. You can change anything you want. I'm just going to type some words. You can change the, actually not words, just garbly gook. You can change the background. So, so easy. And you have some extra settings here as well. You can do the gradients, the size, the height. You can choose the position of your info bar, whether the top of the page or bottom of the page. You see that jump down to the bottom there. You can make it sticky so it always sticks as you scroll or you can change that behavior. You can edit the close link if you want. And again, the same deal with animation. Well, let's change this position so we can see these a little better. So we can change the uh, animation if we want. It can zoom in from the right. It can swing in. Okay, so you can get your visitor's attention, uh, and then you can also do some advanced stuff here. And uh, same uh, controls as the modal pop-ups. You have the behavior, you have the launch control, repeat control. You can target specific pages, visitors, uh, and change the status. It's really, really, really full-featured, and I've really come to love this plugin. I've tried dozens of them. And one last thing I wanted to show you here are the actions and the status uh, over here in your list of info bars or modal pop-ups. You can also create variants, so you can do some A-B testing, you can create another version, and you have your analytics, so you can view how many times your modal was viewed and how many people opted in. That's a really nice way to get some uh, quick statistics on how your email subscription or your offers are converting. Uh, you can export the settings for use in another site or you can quickly change the behavior. Well I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, overview and tutorial of the convert plug plugin uh, and uh, hope it suits your needs. Thanks! <laughs>